you've been doing this on the regular here this season, just again, does it mean the, the passing one like that ain't in that top, that top ten? Uh, it's cool. I mean, like I said before, um, uh, it took a long um, – it's a long journey to be up there, be mentioned with the greats. It takes a lot of work and takes a lot of preparation and um, a lot of people to help you get to that point. You know, so I'm grateful thinking about the people that helped me get to this point. All my teammates, coaches, you know, family, friends that in, in, um, invested in me since a kid, you know. So all this stuff is cool to do. Shows you I'm getting old in the league as well. Um, but it's, it's amazing to be amongst the greats. I'm curious, uh, Coach was just in here and he said that the whistle stopped blowing. I felt like you were getting fouled and weren't getting the calls. Uh, I know you don't like to, to go to that point, but I'm just curious, were you, even, were you thinking the same thing, like I'm not getting called? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a hard game to ref. I mean, they can call fouls every play, um, you know, so got to respect, you know, how tough it is for them to make those plays. Uh, I try not to even put my game in the hands of the refs. Um, I try to stay away from them as much as possible and just focus on me and knock down my shots. So I got to play through it. I got to be better and make shots. I felt like I got to my spots. So it just didn't go in. That's what I was going to follow up with. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen you 0 for 10. Yeah, I have. I have. I have. Okay. I, have. I mean, I know, I know a lot of stuff that I've been doing has been a surprise to a lot of people here in Phoenix. I, I'm new here. so. You know, I've been through shooting slumps before. I've been through great games before, you know. So it's all a new experience to a lot of people, so it may seem like a shock. But uh, uh, 0 for 10 is a lot of misses, but I felt like I got a lot of good shots up. Uh, just keep keep being aggressive and uh, watch film to see how I can get better. How is the foot feeling? Good. Is there extra juice when you go into a game for the first time? I know you've done this before, but against the team that the year before that knocked you out. There's juice every time I, I wake up and play basketball. I'm grateful to be here. Yusuf said uh, after the game, he said, I can't wait till we get healthy. Do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, but I'm uh, you know, one of our guys to take their time to get back right. And uh, once we're, we become a whole team, I think that's when uh, we'll start to uh, figure out who we are as a group. But, yeah, I can't wait for those guys to get back. Uh, but it's been fun grinding with the team that we have. It's the next man up mentality as a pro. So it's been uh, cool to see guys step up. What kind of lift did you get from Nurk tonight? I mean, he's 30 points. I'm, I'm mad we wasted that game from him. Six to sit, uh, six rebounds, two. I mean, he's just aggressive, you know, and and putting pressure on on uh, Nicola, and making him guard a little bit in the post. Uh, it's a great game for him. You, you talked about Nicola and the playoffs last year, and how he just does things and and being able to find guys. And you see a sixteen assists. Uh, just maybe just speak to that. I mean, he gets the ball every time down, and he's a great passer, and they move around him a lot. Um, he's the hub for them. So when they throw him the ball, he's not looking to score every time. Um, they know they can get back cuts and they can use him as a screener um, and to get downhill, you know. So, yeah, they use him for a lot. Um, so him getting double-digit assists and stats um, doesn't surprise me, you know, because he's, he's, he is the central force. So he does everything for him. What, is, what does Nurkic bring to you as far as a physical presence or a rebounding presence? Yeah, just a physical body, somebody that can clog the paint on both sides of the floor, can finish, shoot and stretch out to shoot the three sometimes when you're feeling great. Um, but we need him to stay in his zone. You know, I think he's been playing great ball lately, scoring more fours, rebounding more. So uh, we need him to stay there. I mean, we're excited about his game tonight. I wish we could have won, but um, we, we're excited about his game tonight. With this game tonight, he was saying just competing against – friendly competition with Jokic. Just what did you see from that and kind of how they, they pushed each other out there? Yeah, I mean, they, they were teammates at one point. Um, so you know that they got a nice, you know, s small competitive you know, thing going between them. Um, both been successful in this league as uh, guys from overseas. So it's probably always fun playing against guys you grew up in the league with and came into the league with. And uh, I'm sure they know each other pretty tight, pretty deep. So. Uh, it's always fun when they compete, and they both came out, came with it tonight. Are you aware that you broke into the top 
ten when you scored that bucket? Yeah, I was aware. Um, I've been hearing about it all day. I've been hearing about it. Uh, I heard it on the arena as soon as it happened, you know. So, um, like I said earlier, just grateful to still be playing a game I love. Uh, people invest in me and trust in me to go out there and play my game. And um, I just got to keep coming through. Before you pass these guys on the list, Elvin and Moses, do you go back and watch the old footage at all? Yeah, t- yeah. Yeah, not because I passed them, but I try to I try to get to know the, pat, the players from the past. Uh, and YouTube has been such a valuable asset to people that you can always go back and kind of relive those moments. And you know, so it's uh, as basketball players, I think it's our job to go back and know the history of the game and know who paved the way for us to be who we are today. So uh, I'm just grateful for those guys for doing what they did at that time for us to be able to do what we're doing now. Take anything away from watching those guys play at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could you could find some small stuff and um, that you could take away from guys. I mean, at that level, the Moses Malones, the Elvin Hayes, the Carmelos, and Charles Barkleys, and Shaqs, and all of these guys, they do they played at an elite level for a long time, and you know they do a lot of different things out there on the floor. So you try to emulate and be like the pros. That's how we were as kids. We want to be like the pros. And uh, those guys set a great example. Did you know when you were that close to Moses, did you happen to look at his film recently? Uh, I mean, I always respected Moses, you know. Uh, you said that I watched his film recently? Recently, yeah. Like Not recently. Um, but I've, I've always respected Moses as somebody who doesn't get the credit he deserves as just being a dominant, dominant player in this league for a while, a champion. Uh, was the best player in the league at some point, um, you know, but uh, doesn't have that, you know, narrative around him or the hoopla around him as a player, but contributing and produce for for decades, so well, over a decade in this league. So uh, grateful to be in the same conversation with him, and it's been uh, it's been an amazing journey. Frank mentioned that last one. Basically, you spoke to it as if there's a tale of two halves. The first half, the defense wasn't there. And the second, the defense Bedford was for you guys. But do you see that there's a trend, possibly, of one half of basketball in that way with your losses this season? Or every game is in of itself? Yeah, I mean, we have some games. We don't pull a, put a full game together. Uh, we play great offensively and may not play great defensively and vice versa. Uh, and we've been through some, you know, guys got, we got different lineups here and there, guys in and out the lineup, and we switched the lineup up almost, you know, we had a different star lineup against Toronto and then came with a different star, star lineup this game. So um, guys are figuring it out, and I think we're trying, playing hard and putting ourselves in positions to be successful. Thanks, guys.